What's going on guys? BZ Rider here today with another video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get updates on my upcoming videos as I upload videos weekly. In today's video, I bring you part two of how to easily learn how to ride a motorcycle. If you didn't check out the first video, please make sure that you do check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. In part two, I'm going to be teaching you all all the gear that you should be wearing while you're riding a motorcycle. Safety is... While you're out riding, you want to make sure that you stay safe, all the gear, all of the time. So when it comes to gear, there's many aspects of it. You have your helmet, you have your gloves, you have your jacket, your riding jean, as well as your boots. For every type of gear, there are multiple categories. For example, when it comes to helmets, you have your full face helmet, half helmets, you have your three quarter helmet. I wear a full face helmet. And statistically, this is the safest type of helmet that you can wear. Helmets come in all different types of varieties, shapes, colors, as well as styles. Let's give you a comparison of each different types of gear. As you can see here, I'm on Cycle Gear's website and there's a bunch of different things in their riding gear section. As you can see here on helmet types, you have dirt bike helmets, dual sport helmets, full face, half helmets, modular helmets, and open face three quarter helmet. I'll just show you a quick picture of each one. And here we have full face helmets. As you can see, there's the prices vary. Just depend upon what helmet that you want to go with. Here are modular helmets. And then your open face helmets or your three quarter. All right, so on this clip here, I'll be showing you how to pull it on a helmet. First, you want to grab your helmet. On the bottom side of the helmet, on the inside, there will be two straps. One will have a longer strap, the other will have a set of buckles. As you can see, I'm showing that the buckle has two different portions. You grab those, both the strap and the buckle, pull them off to the side, put it over your head, slide down, and look up. Take the strap in your right hand. These are the two buckles on the left side that I was telling you about. You'll take your strap, place it through both sets of buckles, pull it tight, then separate your buckles, put your strap through your second buckle, pull it down, and then it snaps into place right around the top. Now your helmet should fit pretty snug and tight. As you can see here, it won't come off. Now to remove your helmet, simply pull on your tab to release the buckle. Pull on the strap. Simply pull the strap from the buckles. Grab by both sides of your helmet. And pull it off then you'll have helmet hair. Next we'll go on to boots and the different styles of boots that there are. As you can see here, these are a pair of City Crossfire 2 SRS boots. which retail for $4.95. We'll go on to jackets. With your mesh jackets, a lot of times these are lighter and they will breathe a lot easier than leather. I like to wear a mesh jacket on hot days, but also they do have armor within them. A lot of times you'll have CE armor. Let's see if I can find one. As I can see here, the prices drastically drop, which always happens, but that's good because this right here shows you how, depending on the time of the year, there are different sales available for your gear. This is a jacket that I wear here. I like it. It's comfortable, lightweight, has a removable weatherproof jacket that's also inside of it. You also have your leather jackets. Oops. Leather jackets are going to be the strongest jackets that you can wear. They'll offer the greatest skid and tear resistance as well as keeping you warm while it's cold out and having armor inside of them. You have your riding pants. Which riding jeans compared to your normal jeans will be made out of a tougher material. Most of the time they may have K2 
Kevlar inside of them to resist tears. Um, if you're wearing a regular pair of jeans and in the event that you go down, those regular jeans have a higher chance of tearing through instantly. If you get you a pair of riding jeans or riding pants, they won't tear as easily and sometimes they will have, depending upon which style that you go with or which brand, they will have armor within the hips. So as you can see here, we have the gloves and all the different styles of gloves that there are. Um, statistically, if you are going down on your motorcycle, the first thing that hits the ground will be your hands because you're going to try to keep yourself from falling. Um, as you can see here, we have what's called like a gauntlet style type of glove. This comes up further past the wrist. Um, here's your wrist, you know, here, armor within them. Like around here, we have armor around the knuckles to keep them safe as well. It's just like a hard plastic. As a tip, let's say that you're out riding and you're just wearing your normal shoes. When you're riding, um, your laces, you want to make sure that you tuck them inside of the shoe like that. Well, when you're riding, your laces do not come undone and go inside of your chain. That would not be a good thing or comfortable. Yes, I know that wearing motorcycle gear can be hot, especially during the summertime. I live here in Ohio. The weather's all over the place. I would rather sweat before I bleed all of my gear all the time. I do not want to go down on the bike, need a skin graft. Way cheaper for me to buy another piece of gear than to have thousands of dollars in hospital bills. So guys, please always make sure that you're wearing your gear. It will save your life one day. Hopefully, I was able to teach you guys something. If you wanna get out here in this motorcycle community, in this motorcycle world, please wear your gear. But for your safety, all the gear, all the time. If you like what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on the next one. Peace.